Welcome to the Zermo screencast series. In this session, we will be reviewing the home page. Upon logging into Zermo, you will be directed to the home page, which consists of three areas. You have the main section, you have the left side panel, as well as the top portion. Starting with the middle section, you have the dashboard, which consists of a number of windows or portlets. Now what you can do with these portlets is you can arrange them so that it is showing you the information that you want to see. I'm logged in as Jim and Jim is a sales user which means he's going to want to see the things he needs to accomplish today. We have my upcoming meetings, we also have my up open tasks. As we scroll down you will also notice that Jim has a chart, he also has a few others uh, that are important to him. Now, the dashboard is very configurable. You can remove those that are unnecessary, or you can add portlets. As a sales user, I may want to see my opportunities, so I will go ahead and add that portlet. And we also have the ability to configure each. Perhaps I want to rename my opportunities to my top opportunities. And I also may only want to show values of a certain type. In this case, I want to only show values that show an open deal. So I'm not going to select close one or close loss. I want to see what is outstanding, what is open. In terms of configuring the dashboard, you can easily drag and drop. It's very configurable so that you can see the information that you want on a daily basis. Now working within each portlet is very simple. You can click into the My Meetings and have a snapshot of uh, what you have open for the day. You can also, when working with My Open Tasks, you can go ahead and check off those items that have been completed. Another feature is the ability to edit your dashboard. You also can create another dashboard. For instance, Jim may be a sales user, however, he may also be a sales manager, in which case he may want to have a separate dashboard where he would load different charts or graphs. On the left-hand panel, you have a listing of modules. Now here is where you can navigate to each section of the application when you mouse over, or you can create a record right on the spot. Underneath, you have a recently viewed area, and this is a breadcrumb-like feature that shows you where you've been, where, what records have you recently visited. At the top, you have a global search field, which allows you to search for records based on keyword. And there is a type ahead feature, so that if you did type a few letters, it will pull all records that have those letters. In the top right hand corner I see here I'm logged in as Jim. There is a My Profile portion where Jim can go ahead and change his email address, change his physical address, change his password. Jim can also log into the leaderboard which is the gamification portion of Zermo where he can see where he stacks up against his colleagues in terms of the points that he's earned by using the application. There is a notification section where Jim can be alerted to anything that may require his attention. You also have a section where you can quickly navigate to the Zermo forums or learn more about Zermo. And lastly, on the top panel, you have the ability to create records. Thank you for viewing this homepage screencast. We look forward to providing future sessions.